Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Eric Fisher, tracking a little bit of a wintry mix moving in for the overnight tonight. Most of the snow has been off to our west. We're going to see a little bit of warmer air moving in. So some of us seeing rainfall, while others will see some accumulating snow overnight tonight. So it gets a little sloppy, especially after 8 o'clock. And temperatures will stay in the 20s across the interior, 30s across eastern Mass. So here's a general look at the timeline. See that best chance of snowfall mainly across Worcester County, western Massachusetts, and into New Hampshire. Meanwhile, along the coast, Boston area, a little bit of wet snow, but mostly we're going to talk about a chilly rain that comes down overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Now, it moves out around 5 a.m., so that's good news for the commute, but temperatures will be nosing below freezing, and so there will be some icy areas on any untreated surfaces as we start the day tomorrow. High temperatures reaching the low 30s. We'll get some sunshine, and then as we head toward the evening, we'll be watching snow squalls, and these can be fairly intense between 5 and 8 o'clock. So during that commute time frame, briefly very heavy snowfall, and that will be the leading edge of some very cold air that will move in tomorrow night. As for tonight, coatings for the most part across the Boston area and the North Shore, one to three inches north and west of Worcester, and then best chance of over three, Concord north and west, and then out toward Berkshire County and southern Vermont. That's where we'll see the best snow totals with this one. As for those squalls, again, especially five to eight o'clock, maybe arriving just a little after rush hour, which would be the best chance for us, but we'll be watching these all day and definitely stay updated on the weather because you could get these moving through very quickly, but they produce very hazardous travel. A quick inch or so of snowfall, some low visibility, and very gusty winds. That's similar to a summertime thunderstorm, and these will be racing across the area, those likely having the highest impact of the day when it comes to driving on the roads. As those move through, some strong wind gusts, likely over 30, and some gusts over 40 miles per hour are also also going to come along with those squalls and right as that leading edge of cold air rolls in. And overnight, it gets real cold. Wind chill values well below zero and will stay that way throughout Thursday. It'll be somewhat similar to what we had at the start of last week. Wind chill sub zero, gusty conditions, near record cold. I don't think we'll quite set any records in Boston. Worcester has the best shot, forecasting a high of nine. The record for the coldest high for the date is 11. So we'll be knocking on the door. This is a look at the temps as we look into Thursday afternoon, mostly low to middle teens. Friday, a little bit of relaxation in the wind, some sunshine, temperatures in the 20s, getting close to around 30 on Saturday. Sunday's a tricky one. There'll be a front right across the region, and parts of the area may be on the colder side in the 30s, while others manage to rise into the 40s on Sunday. As for the Patriots, if you are heading down to Atlanta, they've got a warming trend this week, climbing into the 50s to near 60 as we head into the weekend. No major issues expected there for any travelers into Atlanta. And there's a look at your full seven day. For us, we're all over the place from deep cold on Thursday, very chilly Friday, to some moderation this weekend, and next week a chance of some 50s heading back into the area.